Hello, my name is Pavel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be speaking about a trailer that I saw on Twitter. I was randomly scrolling and I saw this trailer and I was like, damn, I really want to make a video about it. I know that everybody has probably seen it by now. I'm, I'm just excited to watch it and I'm excited to watch it because I've watched a video by Charlie, aka Moist Critical, and he made a video where he kind of spoke about the trailer and kind of discussed how awful it was and I was like, hey, I really want to talk about how awful this trailer is. So his video kind of like motivated me and I'm going to reference it a little bit. But if you're wondering, what is this trailer that is just so awful? It is called Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. And it is as bad as it sounds. Whenever I, well, I'm like really bright. Let me turn myself. Hey, that's a bit better. So whenever I saw that there's a Winnie the Pooh horror movie, I was kind of like low key excited because I was like, what if this is actually going to be really good? And guess what? This is not going to be a good movie because the trailer is absolutely horrible. But before I speak about the trailer, let me tell you what this horror movie is about that stars Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. And you're probably wondering, why is it Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and nobody else? Well, Winnie the Pooh became kind of like thrown into the public domain, meaning that you're allowed to use Winnie the Pooh and Piglet any way you want creatively, except Tigger. And I'm gonna come back to that in a few minutes. But I got that from Charlie's video, Winnie the Pooh, and I'm gonna say Winnie, you know, just, just to be a bit easier. Winnie and Piglet are basically breaking into a house and are looking to kill some people because they're staying in the house and I don't know the motive yet, but I'm gonna guess it's definitely something super, super generic. But basically, it's a home invasion movie that's definitely very low budget that you can tell from the trailer. And my expectations were, this movie might look good visually. I really wanted to have that little bit of hope that this movie would be actually good. But honestly, for the first shot, I was like, hey, this doesn't look too bad. And then in the trailer, whenever you see, um, this sounds so pretentious, but whenever you see how it's graded and how it like looks visually with the colors, you're like, hey, this is gonna be bad. You can tell that it's a low budget movie just from like the second shot. I wrote so many notes on my phone about this movie, about, about this trailer. And throughout this video, I'm gonna show you like clips of it because it's just something that you need to watch to understand why it's so terrible. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, we were friends for many years and they're out there. So as I mentioned, the movie seems to be about Winnie and Piglet breaking into a house and killing people. It's going to be a typical home invasion slasher movie. And you know what, in theory, it might be okay. My expectations were, I low-key wanted it to be good, but then I saw, as I said, the color grading and the editing, and just the way like the acting is throughout this trailer, I just lost all hope. And I'm going to put a clip here which kind of showcases that because, well, I feel like that's going to speak for itself. We need to go! There's... The floor is dead. There's someone else outside. I don't know what you could have done with Winnie, but he looks so bad. He doesn't look terrifying. Like, I think using childhood characters in horror movies can work extremely well when it's done correctly. For example, the use of clowns in It. It is such a terrifying figure. Whenever I watched the first movie, I was like, Fuck, this is genuinely horrifying, but whenever I saw Winnie the Pooh in this trailer, I was like, this looks horrible. He looks like they just went down to the local store, found a random mask, and I'm like, hey, what if we make a movie using Winnie the Pooh? Quickly wrote a really quick script, filmed it like over like five or four days, and that was the final product, and this trailer really speaks for that. Saying that, I feel like that this is kind of like a smart move because people like myself and like Charlie and other people have been speaking about this trailer on like Twitter and Instagram, I've honestly seen it everywhere. I'm gonna be like, I'm still gonna go watch it because it's low key smart that this is gonna be such a low budget movie, but it uses Winnie the Pooh so everybody wants to see how bad it is. I hope, sincerely, I really hope it does surprise me when I watch it, which I will, that whenever I watch it, I'm gonna be like, pleasantly surprised that this is actually a good movie, that it's a good slasher movie. But we're gonna have to see. Whenever you get to the end of the trailer, the font that just says blood and honey entirely speaks for itself. It's just, it looks so horrible. And I know throughout Charlie's video, he had this like theory that how could you make this movie good? And he had a theory that, I, I don't even remember, something about honey, something like that, whatever. But I had my own theory. What if, as I've mentioned before, Tigger is not in the public domain and Winnie and Piglet are self-aware in this like world that we live in right now. They see that Tigger is being held away from the public domain and they're trying to find the people who kind of have control over this. So they've been hunting all over like America, for example, and they found this one house where the person who decides that these characters can be used anywhere is in this cabin, so they put on their masks. Well, they're not gonna be masks in this ideal world. 
and they're hunting these people down and they're going through them one by one by one until they get to the very last person and they're like, hey you, we need you to let Tigger join our team. And then he's gonna like resist and then it's gonna become like this torture movie. As I've mentioned, it's gonna be extremely self-aware because it knows it's in this world where Winnie the Pooh is not fictional. Well, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to explain this. But they're living in this world where they just want Tigger on their side and this whole movie is gonna be them seeking blood and the honey comes in where they have to have this. Okay, let's just add like, there's gonna be a sacrifice scene. No, they have to sacrifice the body of the man who dis makes this general decision and mix it with honey because at the end you can see them like pouring honey out and like, I don't know what they're pouring it into. To be fair, realistically it's gonna have no sense. And the fact, you know, this is an absolute optimistic idea that I have about this movie because it's not gonna happen. Realistically, what it's gonna be, okay, let me guess. There's gonna be a cabin, there's gonna be four actors, uh, four people in this cabin that are gonna be extremely poor actors because you can tell that from the trailer. And they're kinda like, uh, just on, hmm, they're just gonna be celebrating a birthday. And during the celebration, they're gonna hear a knock on the window and it's gonna be Winnie, but he's not gonna be knocking with a sand, he's gonna be knocking with the back of an ax. Then, they're gonna be like, holy fuck, everybody lock the door. As they get to the door, because we have Winnie at this window over here, they're gonna go to the door and they're gonna go see Piglet, and Piglet is gonna be holding a knife. They're all gonna scream, all the lights are gonna cut off, and somehow, very quietly, both of them are gonna break into the house. And as they're breaking in, the people inside the house are gonna realize, and they're gonna try to break out. And so this is gonna be like a, a like, chase around the woods and slowly one by one they're all again gonna be killed but I feel like at the very end the main guy let's say Chris Chris is gonna stab no he's gonna run over Piglet at the very end and he, he everybody's gonna think he's gonna die and he's gonna stab Winnie and I think he's gonna bleed honey that's a bit optimistic but anyway and then at the very 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 last shot I feel like we're gonna see like Piglet's hand move so it's gonna set up this like sequel that's never gonna happen because realistically this movie's not gonna do super well. But that's kinda like my theory, my like ideal hypothetical, hypothetical theory about this movie. Will it happen? No. Is it realistically just gonna be a low budget horror movie that's not gonna do super well and it's playing off the fact that they're just using childhood characters like Winnie the Pooh to actually make it kinda like consumable and kinda like for a marketing sake? More than likely. No idea when it's coming up because at the end it doesn't say when it's coming up but you bet Whenever this movie actually wants to come out, I'm gonna watch it. Is it gonna be shown in cinemas? No, but I will rent it online if I have to because I'm low-key excited. I know it looks so shit, but watching shit horror movies is something that I just really enjoy doing. And I'm gonna do it with this. And if I'm pleasantly surprised, then I will, mm, I'll donate money towards this next movie if it ever gets made or something like that. I don't know. I'm excited, weirdly. There's something relaxing about watching shitty horror movies that you can just, it's just fun. It's just a fun time. So that's kind of like my opinions and my general thoughts on the trailer. It looks horrible. It's funny. And I really hope... Yeah, another point I kind of made in my notes is that remember when the first Sonic movie came out and everybody saw Sonic and was like, what is happening? I really hope that the people, when there's such a reaction to this trailer that they're going to be able to... Mm, never mind, that's not going to work because Sonic is like not real. It wasn't filmed in real life. I guess they can't really do add CGI into this movie because I feel like it's just gonna go past the budget. So that's what it kind of reminded me of is the first Sonic and then they improved it. But here we're just gonna have Winnie and he's gonna look awful and it's not gonna get improved. So I don't know. I don't really know what's gonna happen, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> but I think that is everything I'm gonna say about this trailer. Whenever it comes out, I'll make a video about it. If you've noticed, I've recently enjoyed just sitting down and chatting to the camera about things that I've noticed, and it's so fun, and I really love making videos like this. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know, and thank you so much for watching this video, and I always ask at the end, what movie should I watch next? Let me know in the comments. You know where to find me. <laughs> you know where to find me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>